name is Oluwapalmi Amanda Adiola. I'm a family law partner at BHP Law. Today I'm joined by Patience Ablade, a barrister at Trinity Chambers um, who works out of the uh, Newcastle office. So thank you so much for joining me, Patience. Well, thank you for having me. Today we're talking about Black History Month. Yes. And the theme for the year, mm -hmm. which is um, saluting or celebrating our sisters. Mm -hmm. And I just thought we'll have a conversation around that theme, what mm -hmm. it means to you, yeah. and just generally talk about Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So my first question for you is, how does this year's theme of celebrating our sisters make you feel? Celebrating this year's theme of celebrating our sisters makes me feel incredible, actually. And I think it's wonderful that there's a platform to elevate um, Black women's voices. Thank you. Um, so what does it mean to you personally, celebrating our sisters? I think it means taking the time to recognise the achievements of um, black women and the talents. Um, and again, just elevating their voices and giving a platform for them to be able to, be able to do so. If you had to describe um, black women, how they've been portrayed in history, using three words, what would they be? Angry black woman. But I think my main words would be angry, stubborn, and invisible. Wow. If we just go deeper into that um, yeah. and to put it into context, mm -hmm. why did you choose those three? I think firstly for invisible, I think for a long time and in history, black women didn't really have a platform mm -hmm. and black women were doing a lot behind the scenes and not given any platform, they were essentially shoved to the side. Mm. And so I think for me, Invisible portrays that. Yeah. And even in films and shows, there'll always be that one angry black woman yeah. who is really sassy and, you know, that's the role that black women would be playing historically. Now, if you had to describe being a black woman of today then, using three words, mm. what would they be? Wonderful complicated and inspiring. I think there are just so many things that as black women, just extra things you have to think about. Mm -hmm. So for example, I think one thing that comes to mind now is hair. Yeah. So every time I've started a job, I also have to think, how should I go into it with my hair? What should I do with my hair? Kind of starting at this job, I want to make a great first impression. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people might think that my natural hair is unprofessional, for example. And so I would just do a really basic hairstyle. And because I'm already aware that I'm gonna stand out by virtue of my skin color, yeah. I don't want to stand out even more by having a hairstyle that's different and a hairstyle that people aren't used to seeing. Mm -hmm. And so I'd always start off by just doing a really plain, simple hairstyle. Um, and so, yeah, just having to think about extra things like that, that ordinarily, you wouldn't think about. Exactly. So how then can one celebrate sisterhood beyond October? I think I'd probably give the same answer that I gave to the second question in what celebrating sisterhood means to me. So continuing to elevate the voices of young black women and giving them a platform to, to make a stand and to showcase their talents and achievements. Thank you. So what trailblazing black woman has shaped your personal history and how? Serena Williams. I just think she is fantastic. Not only has she been decorated as an athlete, but as a whole, you know, she's kind of invaded, I would say, so many different <laughs> spheres of life. And she's done a great job, you know, entrepreneurship, business, philanthropy. And above it all, she has been true to herself and she's been herself and you know I mean unfortunately I don't know her personally <laughs> um, but just from following her on social media and seeing how she is she just looks like she just she enjoys life and you know, she works hard absolutely but she enjoys life and that's something that I always have in mind that's something I want to um, put into practice in my life so I want to make sure I work hard um, in the positions that I am that I've been given but equally, I think it's so important to enjoy life as well. I'm 
all about the enjoyment Absolutely. of life. <laughs> you have to enjoy life. Yeah. No, she's an incredible role model, so mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that. So what trailblazing black woman then would you say has shaped your professional life and how? A trailblazing black woman that has influenced my professional life is Elaine Banton. So she's a barrister down in London. And not only is she an exceptional barrister, but she's dedicated her career to giving young black people a voice. She has done a lot of work in social mobility, in racial equality, and she's still able to do that alongside her practice. And for me, I don't want to just be a day-to-day -day barrister. I want to be able to make a difference. One of the reasons why I wanted to become a barrister was to be able to help people and to advocate for people who couldn't speak for themselves. And, you know, I want to be in a position to help them. And seeing what Elaine does with her time and with her career, it's really inspiring. And that's something that um, I would also like to do um, with my profession as well and in my career. Thank you. I agree. I do know Elaine and she is amazing. She's mm -hmm. a fantastic role model. Yeah. Now then, coming to my final question for you, Patience, what advice would you give to uh, young black females who may look to you as a source of inspiration? I think firstly, I'm honoured and humbled that I am in such a position that young black lawyers might look up to me. And that's something I take very seriously. The advice I would give to them is that hard work pays off mm. and there is space for you. Um, I think sometimes it can be difficult when you don't see people who look like you in the profession or the career that you yourself want to um, go into. And I think it's just so important as well, um, just going into schools, speaking to young people, which we've done previously as well, speaking to them and just showing them that we are here and they can be here too. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That was very insightful. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you um, enjoy the theme and that you enjoy celebrating your sisterhood this Black History Month and beyond. Oh, thank you. And you too.